Essentially, if you have these people waiting and you have patients who need to be seen, there's only a certain finite number of beds. So sometimes you have a situation where persons can't be seen because of this situation. So th those bottlenecks occur and those things will have to be worked on. I've already started, uh, there's the alternative care of the elderly program where government paid and pays for the care of persons in private nursing facilities and trying to get that going again so that we can get some of those people out of the QEH who don't need to be there and hopefully create more bed space for persons to be more easily admitted and so reduce the congestion in accident emergencies. A group from Northwell have begun, I think they started yesterday, Northwell hospitals and, and emergency centers in New York to look at our accident emergency department and look at how its efficiencies, its issues, and give us an idea of some of the things that we have come up with our solutions. But a pair of fresh eyes from overseas can also help in addressing the issues. And I'm mindful of the, of the difficulties down there. I mean, it's not easy sometimes to be waiting for eight, 10 hours to see a doctor. And then after you've seen the doctor, you have to wait again for a resident or registrar. That system also has to be addressed as it relates to the referral system within the hospital.